it's not something that happens every day, but yesterday we had five cars arrive to curate it in Miami. Uh, one of them we can't talk about yet, but we will tell you about the four cars that arrived. Now it's a rhythm that is sort of always happening. There's cars coming and going, but to have five arrive in one day was like a Chinese fire drill. It was completely insane. Um, but let's introduce you to the first car, 512TR, really, really special car. It's a one owner car with 2,800 original miles. We found this car in Europe. It is absolutely new. It has its original tires, it's got original paint, original interior, and even when you walk by the car and now the windows are open, you can actually smell the original interior. Um, this is probably one of the nicer examples we've seen. Um, we love these cars. We've had a ton of low mileage examples. Very, very excited. We actually have someone coming at 2.30 today that's been waiting for about two weeks just to see this car, to buy it. Um, I love 512TRs. Uh, power steering, great AC, they're much more powerful, and they're just a lot more fun to drive than the early Testarossas. Some people say they're not as iconic um, uh, looking because they have some differences, the front bumper, rear bumper, the rear hood, uh, the wheels, the interior is almost completely redesigned. Uh, but I have to say, I love the 512TR. We'll keep buying these, we'll always have these. And we have another Testarossa example that joined us as well, the final iteration, the 512M, which we had actually sold while it was in transit. Um, all of the cars essentially came from different places. We have the 512TR, I believe it came from uh, Germany. Uh, 512M came from Germany as well. We'll show you the 512M. The one car, which I'm not gonna talk about yet, uh, came from South America. Uh, there's another car that actually came locally. And then the final Carrera GT that we got is a US car that we discovered in Germany. So definitely, definitely cool to have all the cars arrive. Let's go look at the next one. So we'll talk about this one for a second as well. Uh, this car just arrived actually the day before, so you could call this the sixth car. Um, very, very special. This car was actually a local car, uh, which is pretty rare for us. Most of our cars come from around the world, or if not around the country. This is one of eight. Guards Red on uh, Guards Red on Ascot Carrera GT produced for the U.S. market. Very very unique color combination. I believe there was less than 50 Guards Reds car uh, produced for the North American market. Uh, but to find one with the Ascot interior is very very rare. Now most of our cars, and you guys know, have like a thousand miles, five thousand miles, two thousand miles. For a Carrera GT, this car actually has a lot of miles. It has eleven thousand six hundred miles but it has been loved and really, really well taken care of. You could just tell by the finishes on the interior, different things like that. Now this car is slightly dangerous the way it sits. It has its original tires, so we're definitely gonna have to change these ASAP. I'm sorry, not original tires. These are from 2014. Now, I would never drive this car at any sort of radical speeds or even under heavy acceleration with old tires. As you know, unfortunately, these cars are pretty dangerous. Um, I've read some great quotes from some famous race car drivers that have driven these cars and said that these are probably the scariest cars they've ever driven um, and definitely not something that you shouldn't just put this in anyone's hands. So fresh tires are going on this. Now this actual car is gonna need a major service and sort of the issue with that is a Carrera GT is very, very expensive to service. The clutch itself is almost $20,000 to change. Uh, we will have to put a clutch. There's actually a clutch, uh, it's called a clutch uh, snapshot. So a, a meter actually reads the, the, the measurement of the clutch and can tell you how much is left. This car has like 6% left, so we have to put a fresh clutch. Uh, we have to put a new alternator. We're gonna do an engine out service. We're gonna have that done uh, from our friends at Porsche, uh, at Champion. Uh, incredible dealership, we love those guys there. So they're gonna do that because they know these cars this well. Besides that, this car's pretty much I mean, almost perfect, but it will need a major, uh, major service, complete with books, et cetera. But absolutely love this car. Unfortunately, we can't drive it the way it is today, but maybe we'll take you guys for a ride soon. Let's go check out what else is here. Now, this is probably one of the more exciting cars that we've ever had here. It's not the most expensive, uh, but this is, a piece of history, it is a piece of, uh, honestly, it describes a generation, it describes an entire culture. Here we go. This is not just any 
white Ferrari Testarossa. This is the actual, yes, the actual car used in Miami Vice. Um, an honor to have the opportunity to be able to purchase this car. I believe we actually already have it sold. Uh, I think it's 6,000 original miles. It was part of Preston Hen's collection. He bought it from Universal, um, NBC Universal, as soon as they were finished filming. Uh, this was a car that was actually given to them by Ferrari, so Ferrari North America's name was actually on the title. Um, very, very special car. It needs some work but it is a piece of history. One day this car, I look at this as purely priceless. Um, Miami Vice, this car, so iconic, so important. Uh, so important for us to have this car here and have the opportunity to buy it. We're gonna do a full, I promise you, a full story on this car. We're gonna take it for a drive. We're gonna take it around Miami. We're gonna visit all of the famous scenes that it was featured in. Uh, don't worry, stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That's coming up, I promise you guys, and let's go check out the Carrera GT. So, here she is. She's dirty, she needs some love, but this is a very, very cool Carrera GT. Definitely uh, a driver's car, 20,000 miles. Now, it's not the highest mileage Carrera GT, but it definitely is one of them. Uh, beautiful, beautiful car. I love this GT Silver over terracotta. I think it's such an iconic color for this car. Um, and this car, we actually sold prior to it getting here. It had spent its life in Germany, um, but an originally a US car. And we basically went looking for a very, very good client, a very good friend of Curated who wanted a car to drive. I think they're even gonna bring it on the track. So imagine, uh, they've got an F40, they've got a Countach, they have some incredible cars. They've been looking for a Carrera GT that they could drive. And we went searching, I think for about like six months to a year, and we found this incredible example for them. We're gonna do a major service, get it prepared for them. Again, our guys at Porsche are gonna do an incredible job. But to have one Carrera GT, two Carrera GT, and we actually have a black car incoming as well. So exciting to be around these cars. I love these cars. I think they're such important supercars. Probably one of the greatest cars ever made um, and very rare. I, I, 650 US cars were produced. Uh, obviously the, the red and yellow and black are much more rare. But again, very, very cool example. And let me go show you the last car. So there's two last cars that arrived. One of them we cannot talk about yet. Uh, you'll see very soon. Uh, we are keeping our lips sealed, but next to us is a 512M. Really, really, really awesome car. This is the last version of the Testarossa. You can see it's got the open headlights. It has the 355 rear tail lights, so round tail lights, and the wheels that sort of have this very cool design. Um, it's essentially though the same as a 512TR, a little bit more rare. This is the last Testarossa variation they produced, Ferrari. M stands for Modificata. Um, so very, very cool car. We're cleaning up the stickies right now. As you know, a lot of the old Italian interiors get sticky. This is like a 5,000 or 6,000 mile car that while it was on his way, it actually sold as well. Congratulations to the, to the, to the new owner. He's been a long time client. I haven't sold him anything in a few years and he asked us for a perfect 512M and I think we found it. Thank you guys again for following our channel much more vintage supercar content coming we love you guys don't forget to like and subscribe